Hello, Scully Scully Animation here, and this is the Raspberry Raspberry Pi Zero. I'm going to turn this into a Commodore 64, and only use this board. I'm going to connect the Commodore 64 keyboard to the GPIO pins here. So this will be the only device in the case. And it will connect to a an original stock Commodore 64 keyboard. Take these header pins, and and I'm just going to connect it directly to the board. So I need to divide it up. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I need to first I need to cut. Um, Whoa. Let's see. Two, yeah, okay, that's five. I'm gonna solder that. So, the first set of pins need to go right here. Seven done. My glasses. solder Pretty straight, it's pretty straight. Microphone. Solder I have been using was cheap solder from halfway around the world. I had to get some more solder because the cheap solder doesn't work. It's not good. This solder is much better. Yep. On the southern pin. Yeah, this tip is too big. It's hard to get in there. It could be 
there. Okay, continuing on. Put five more pins in there. so I don't burn myself. ahead and soldered some more pin headers not all the pins in these will be used but that's, that's the pieces I had so you know I'll skip some of these pins but uh, I just need to solder three more pins at the end here for the LED light on the Commodore keyboard and then be ready to test it all right so here it is I'll assembled pretty much uh, I've got tape like duct tape around the connectors to keep them from coming off I'll just I didn't create a circuit board I just used wires to connect the Raspberry Pi Zero to the Commodore 64 connector right here quick and easy um, that's why I did it you know it's, it's these kind of wires I can't remember what you call them you know they got uh, connectors male and female on each end so so it was quick and uh, I'm glad I did that because when I first hooked it up it didn't completely work uh, I only had two wires crossed uh, I think the wires uh, pin seven and nine so it was messing with like uh, X V whatever but anyway so I tracked that down by looking at the keyboard matrix map of the Commodore 64 and was able to track it down pretty quick so I'm going to reset it got it hooked up with the composite video there and there's a little lag on the screen because this runs through a capture card uh, all the keys are working fine except wait a minute, I'll get to that I think you've probably seen it, right? So all the keys are working great. 
except for like the plus, the minus, the pound key, the asterisk, the at key, the colon, semicolon. And the reason those aren't working correctly is I think the way that they've got them set in the the keyboard file. There's like I think it's an extension of dot VKM. I'll have to look into that. But I think that's because that's the way it, it's been set in that file. So I can go to the SD card on here and modify that file and fix that, hopefully. But I don't think that's a uh, that's an issue with the way it's wired up. That's I'm pretty sure that that's got to do with that file. The home key works. The uh, Cursor keys work. The backspace works. Shift return works. If I just hit return and put the syntax there, write a program. And the and the reason I think it's the file because uh, the quotation marks is your standard keyboard. USB keyboard entry shift semicolon so that's why I think it's the file and run that run stop works uh, Commodore shift works so all the keys are working basically so that is an entire Commodore 64 on a Raspberry Pi Zero. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Uh, and before I was using an, an Arduino to translate to act as a USB key keyboard, you know, to uh, to translate a real 64 keyboard to a USB keyboard and, and then put it into the Raspberry Pi, but don't need to do that anymore. Uh, can so I can completely bypass the, the Arduino, which is pretty cool. You know, it keeps the component uh, level of components down to a minimum, and it's pretty minimum right there. You know, so that is cool. Uh, I don't think I, I I said which 64 emulator I'm running. I'm running BMC 64. It's uh, in my opinion, it's the best Commodore 64 emulator or any Commodore computer emulator out there. Uh, it works. It just works. And it's, I can't say enough about it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, do so. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And if you want to be a supporter of this channel, I have a Patreon page. I don't have a lot of stuff on there right now, but I probably will in the future, you know. So, all right, this is Scotty Scotty Animation. I will talk to you later. For more content, you can visit www.scottyanimation.com. There's a lot more stuff on there.